Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In today's video we are in League of Legends because their brand new game mode got released. It is a PvE game mode so you're not playing against other players but you are playing against the AR. This is called Swarm and welcome. So it is the rogue light, rogue like bullet hell that we love on this channel. And as you can see, there is a meta progression. It gets very, very expensive, but there are ways to farm gold. There are a couple of characters. Today we're going to be playing on Leona, just so we can show you guys the game. We are playing on the first level. We uh I've got myself to the fourth level so far, and we're trying to get all the way and finish the story difficulty and get to the hardest ones. Uh, you can play with friends or you can play on your own but let's just jump straight into it and take a look at it okay so we are in as you can see yumi.ai is telling us a little bit about itself now the game does have auto aim just like we love in every other game but we do get to use five skills we do get uh what is that six passives uh, the only thing i don't uh, i find weird is the movement like the, the i think there's screen shake or something on and there's no way to really turn it off so it is what it is we are going to grab ourselves some armor here as you can see there are evolutions in the game as well and we need armor to evolve our shield slam so we're going to go and pick up the the armor over there just so we've got it already and we don't miss the ability to you know evolve our shield slam there so grabbing that as we go hopefully we can get stuff that works off of max health and we can get stuff that works off of other things now if we push tab we do see over here all the different upgrades and what they evolve on this evolves off of health regeneration uh, the cyclonic slices so we are going to grab them because getting health regeneration on a tanky character seems like a legitimate thing to do now, as you can see on the map on the side over here, it does show us uh, health. Uh, if we stand on this, uh, we do get healing after a certain amount of time. But because we are full life, we don't need to worry about that. Pretty cool that League of Legends decided to... Ooh, look, see, we got health regeneration. So it's pretty cool that League of Legends did decide to, you know, add their own, you know, rogue light bullet hell version. I really, really hope that they expand on this and they keep this game mode forever. Uh, as you know, my whole channel is revolved around playing rogue lights and bullet hells. But if you didn't know, I love playing League of Legends as well. I know there are a couple of you that watch, uh, that play a league with me uh you know as long as you're on the eu i play on eu west so if you ever want to play league you can always just add me it's broken plays uh otherwise you can always just dm me or something on discord if you want to know my character details or if you need the numbers that are involved there as well all right, so we did manage to get ourselves a whole lot of good things over here. Each of these are going to be able to evolve. I think we can grab ourselves the XP increase over here. This can crit. It does evolve using crit, but it doesn't really work with our character. Uh, duration is not something that we necessarily... Uh, duration works on the cyclonic slices, but nothing else really. Uh, projectile count works on all of these. Uh, and then we need... Oh. We ran out of time, so we just took duration over there. But that's a bit unfortunate. I wasn't paying attention. We have unlocked our character abilities. So if I push E, we get like a, a, f a righteous fire around us. But we, ooh, actually we're going to go Tibbers. I haven't evolved Tibbers yet. And Tibbers evolves with duration, so that works perfectly fine for us. And maybe we can get lucky and get haste or area size as well, which will work with everything or at least the majority of our skills. So we're going to turn the auto aim off. When it's on, it's a blue circle below your character. And when it is on, you've got, I mean, when it's off, sorry, you've got the green circle around your character just in case. It also does tell you on the side there in case you didn't see that. All right, ability haste, that's beautiful to get. We're happy to get that. It works on absolutely all of the abilities and it just makes sense getting it because why not? Okay, an elite fight over here. When we kill the elites, it's the same as all the other games. Uh, you kill an elite and they are going to drop a chest for us. And I'm um, not a chest, but they drop this card and this uh, helps uh, level up uh, different gear. And if we have level five of our uh, abilities, we can then evolve them, which is what we are looking to do. 
Now the other nice thing about the game mode is they are only 15 minutes on absolutely every single map. Ooh, what is this? We got ourselves the Battle Bunny bonus. It looks like it gave us duration over there, but I'm not 100% sure on... No, it looks like it's just a freezing wave. That is so cool. I would love to see some characters having a dash or something like that. Like you can play as Yasuo in the game and he does have an ability that makes him do his little dash like he does through minions and stuff. Uh, it would be nice to see some of that on other things, but it is what it is. I'm going to try get an ability that we can evolve using duration or armor or whatever the case may be, health, you know, the different things we've got here. So we'll see if we can get another ability that's going to benefit from those. Because having more evolved weapons means an easier time. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I do know there we go, there he is. Just pop that there. Stay out of the electricity. And we can actually go Radiant Field or we could go for Lioness Lament. Uh, I don't like this, but I haven't evolved it yet. So I'm going to take it. Also, we can evolve it, so it just makes sense to grab it. And then Tipper's got a level up over there. Fantastic. Now, you might be worried about these, uh, you know, shielded enemies coming close to us and killing us. But uh, let me assure you that uh, they don't actually land up coming towards you. They do disappear before they get close enough to deal damage to you. Also, if you were worried about them, you can actually just kill them. But there you go. As you can see, they just disappear. Right, so we're about a third of the way there and we aren't even close to even evolving anything so this is a bit difficult let's just put the auto aim on i think we're going to go for tibbers first again we haven't really seen his evolution so it will be cool to see what tibbers lands up going and becoming for us Activate that. We can go for the Cyclonic Sasses. I wonder if I can use number keys like we can in Soulstone Survivors or some of the other Rogue Lights as well. Okay, Lana's Lament. Get our E ability up and running. Shield Slam. Let's go. That's our main ability. So every single character will start off with a, an ability. Each character gets a different ability. Each character gets different passives. So when you want to play, you can play with friends. You can all play like uh, you can play one support and a couple of carries, or you can play, uh, you know, a tank and uh, all, all of you could play the same character if you wanted. As long as you have the character unlocked, uh, everyone on your team can play the exact same character. So there's no real limitation, which is pretty cool. So if I wanted to play uh, Leona and someone else wanted to play Leona at the same time, you are able to, which is really, really cool. What do we get here? Oh, I completely forgot about Yumi. No. So there's this thing called Yumi's Quest. Now over here, we have to bounce the beach ball. So we've got to stand here and bounce it five times. Just got to stand in these circles as we bounce it. So there we go. And then we get a really cool bonus once we do that. So let's see what bonus we get that elite died really quickly four and the final bounce is over here and now we get to pick something so we can either get damage we can get size scrambler or we can get glass cannon glass cannon is 40 percent damage less max health uh, leona's passive means that we gain area size based on our defenses so we do want life uh, uh and things like that so we're not going to worry about that we're not really too worried about that oh actually we'll get the damage over here why not even though we're a tank getting a lot of damage is still really good for us so we're going to grab that the card thing that it mentioned is uh so this card thing that that mentioned is actually these over here whenever you kill an elite you get to pick up one of those cards so we just got plus five percent increased damage over there 
All right, the next card we pick up is going to evolve Tibbers. Like I mentioned, we just need a skill at level five. And once it's at level five, it is able to evolve. So everything only goes up to level five. It is quite cool that it does that because it allows us to be able to get everything leveled up all the way to max by the time the round ends. You don't have to, you know, scramble and hope you get things. You are able to evolve all five weapons, all five, all four of your passives and get them all to their max level before the end of the run. And then if you are lucky enough to get even more XP, you can turn that into gold and other things. So Cyclonic Slicer also ready to evolve and it's going to be interesting to see which one gets the evolution first. Movement speed can be very good as well as you can see we do get these bombers over here. There's a life pickup, fantastic. Now there are crates that you can destroy. I don't actually, oh there we go, this little dustbin over here for us. We will go and destroy it. Do we get something? Oh wait, was not? Oh, there it is. Those are the crates over there. It was it was not in the dustbin. <laughs> All right, so let's go destroy the crates. So as you can see, you can destroy the creatures, the shield wall. You don't have to worry about it. Get ourselves gold from the crates. We do need gold, so it is actually worthwhile to run around and destroy them. But we do have the battle bunny. Beautiful. Ooh, what is that? Duration or cool? No, that's cooldown. Nice. We're just going to run around looking for more crates to destroy. There's one. All right, so we've actually got two elites that just spawned. Little Cogmores, if you know anything about the game. This is one of the characters in the game. Doesn't look like this, but they've changed a little bit. And now we've got Tibbers, the BEEG edition. So Robo Tibbers Mad, Robo Tibbers Shred, Rar. <laughs> uh, League's always been a little bit funny. Oh, we picked up a bomb. We need 10 of those bombs, by the way. Ooh, Robo Tibbers is massive. Nice. So he got increased size and I'm assuming damage and other things like that. So we just got 5% increased damage because of our passive over here. And then we've also now got another evolution for the Unseen Cyclone, which makes it knock back enemies as well as continuously spawn around us now. So we don't have to worry about, uh, you know, them spawning anymore. They're going to be continuously around us. Destroying all of these chests, good for us. It looks like Tipper's uh, was taking a bit of a breather there. <laughs> His anger got the better of him, so he's kind of AFK now. <laughs> Even my own PvE teammate Tipper's is AFK. <laughs> Typical League of Legends. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself there. But <laughs> I don't know, if you guys have ever played the game, you know that AFK players are, are, are a problem in the game. So the fact that it happens that Tipper's kind of like just stood there doing nothing <laughs> kind of reminded me of that, and that's just really funny. All right, lots of chests here. Maybe we, we do need to get 10 bombs, so hopefully we can find more. I've only picked up one. I can't actually remember what the achievement for picking up 10 was, but we'll, we'll have a look and see. There are achievements in the game already, not necessarily like a Steam achievement, but there are achievements in a sense that uh, by doing certain things in the game, you unlock new characters or new... Uh, there's a whole lot of things, new skills, new unlocks, and so on and so forth. Okay, he's going to drop a card for us. It is an elite doesn't show you the life bar like it does for the others, but it still does the job. Maybe I should have leveled up a little bit first before that, because we could have then evolved something there. Okay, a Yumi quest has appeared. We do get shield slam to max level, which means we will be able to evolve it now. just making our way to the Yumi. I 
completely forgot about Yumi, so unfortunately we probably won't be able to get all of the Yumi upgrades. Okay, it says push the balls, make it grow, it grows faster when it rolls over enemies. Alright, so essentially just smack it over enemies, sounds good. There you go. Ugh. Roll, roll over the enemies. All right, that was very easy. Uh, the Sire Scrambler, occasionally killing an enemy will cause it to drop a health pickup or deal up to 30% more damage to distant enemies. Everything of ours is hard, like a close range. So I'm gonna grab the Sire Scrambler. I think this could be quite interesting to grab. And we've got a double, a triple boss fight over here for ourselves. I don't know if we can kill them by just, you know, taking a little bit of damage from them. Nope. Get me out of there. I don't want to die. Tibbers, help me. Smack them. Smack them dead. What a good Tibbers, man. All right. Beautiful. We evolve the claws. That just makes it so that the bullets they shoot around us are always there and they shoot faster. Uh, light of the Lion hits a larger area and applies sunlight to the enemy. Sunlight can be detonated by allies or other weapons for bonus damage. That's beautiful. And then we get increased armor as well. And that also increased our damage, as you know, because we got the other passive. I'm going to use this to heal, though. We do have health regen, but just, you know, to get some life back. Because in typical bullet health fashion, when we get to about the 14 minute time, things get extremely hectic and we get into a very dangerous spot. All right, here's another elite. Tib has decided to bail on us at the best of times. Just spawn this over here. Tibbers, you are not going for the right enemies. There we go. Fantastic. Good boy, Tibbers. Health regen, that is beautiful to have. Again, we do want to try and get as much defenses as possible here. Give me something good, misfortune. Oh, nice. We're going to get a lot of gold over here. Maybe I should have waited on the using the pickup over there the magnet so that little golden orb that you saw me pick up that is actually a magnet and it pulled all of the gold and all of the xp towards us and then as you can see there's this golden uh archon above my head that is a death uh, uh, what's it? The, every time we kill an enemy, there's a chance for them to drop gold. So it is actually one of the passives you can get from the Yumi ch challenges. And if you're looking to farm gold and things like that, that is one of the ones. It's called Death and Taxes. So if you're looking to farm gold, that is definitely one of the upgrades you try to find when you are playing. Um, we should get our cooldown back before the next, you know, 15 minute fight. So just use our ultimate there. Uh, do we have anything yet? No, we need a couple more levels in the other skill before we can evolve it. But as you can see, we're not really getting the upgrades for it. So it's a little bit of a problem there. Not that it's a problem, but you know, if we pick up this card now, it's probably going to give us something else and we're not going to be able to evolve the final skill. Yeah, we didn't even get the upgrade for it. It's quite difficult to get everything you want, but luckily that's the worst skill out of all of them. So I'm happy that we didn't get it. Now the game will get a lot harder than this. This is the first level. It is also on the easiest difficulty, but I thought we would show you guys, you know, how everything worked, what the game looks like. And if you're interested in it, you can play it for free on the League of Legends uh, installer. You just got to download League of Legends. You don't need to play the PvP of League or anything like this. You just got to play the League tutorial 
before you're able to play the game. But once you finish the tutorial, you are able to play Swarm. Alright, so here comes the craziest part of the entire thing. I think uh, the fact that they have like this huge boss fight is just amazing. I, I think it's fantastic and I love the fact that there is this massive boss fight that we get. And here it is, it's after 15 minutes and we are fighting the boss here. It's just insane, look at this craziness that we have to go through. Make sure we stay out of the red circles though and go and kill this thing first. It deals a whack ton of damage to the boss. And then where is this boss for us to smack? There it is. Pop our ultimate. Pop this. And the boss is going down really quickly. Again, we've already got some meta progression. So the boss will die a lot faster than if you do this for your very first time. Actually, my very first couple of times, I don't even think we got to the boss. I managed to make like 14 minutes and then I died. So uh, it gets a little bit harder. I mean, it gets a little bit easier the more you play the game, which is, uh, you know, the general bullet hell, roguelite fashion. All right, the boss is going to be dead after this one. And... Easy peasy, dead. And that's the game. So let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe, survivors. Until next time, cheers.